send it to Dre's Radio Cafe. Dre's Radio Cafe is a 24-7 internet radio station designed with you in mind. By being heard by 150,000 listeners every month. What does that mean to you? That means more than just going to YouTube. More than just going to Google. More than just having the SoundCloud up. More than just having any of the other programs set up. Alright? So check this out. What I want you to do is send your banging cuts, your ads, anything that you have involved that you want to get involved with to D-R-E-Z-E-Y-2-1 at Yahoo.com. That's D-R-E. Z-E-Y-2-1 at Yahoo.com. That's Dre's Radio Cafe. 24-7 radio. Designed with you in mind. What y'all sipping on? Let's go. Come to terms with the fact that my future might not involve people I'm around now. I get tired of doing this every time I try something new. Sometimes I had to walk away from what I want to find what I deserve. I made mistakes in my life. I've learned from my bad choices. I'll know better next time. Don't mention a person's past mistakes when they're trying to change. That's like throwing rocks at them while they're struggling to climb a mountain. Yeah, let's talk about that, y'all. Success isn't luck. It's based on the good habits of who we become. Like, oh, what a feeling. Meet the new you. Yes, you need new habits. Five tricks to help you create new habits going to talk about that right here on the Boss Ladies Live Radio Show. Let's go, y'all. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Boss Ladies Live Radio Show. Six-time award winning now. Spreaker Studios, sponsored by Boss Ladies Inc., Dre's Radio Cafe, a.k.a. The Hangout, a.k.a. Dre's 8, Larry D. Edwards, strictly for the ladies, T.O.H.P., Noriega the King in the building, know what I'm saying? With that, uh, I want it, but I'm frustrated. Make sure y'all check them new shows out, you know what I'm talking about? And then we had uh, Lady Miz. Uh, tonight that it premieres 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern Time is all over my pages. Go ahead and link up and tune in to that dope interview. Then last, uh, then we had Saturday, uh, Willie Dub Sees Jones, Dub Sees Entertainment. Uh, had an interview with him on Saturday night. Shout out and salute to all of those that are in the chat room. Welcome back, welcome back to another show. Before I get in the chat room, i just like to thank everybody for liking, downloading, and sharing the show, you know what I'm saying? It, it means truly a lot when you like it, download and share the show, especially if you're running a radio ad campaign. Man, you bring new content and new listeners every time you subscribe, like, share the show, go back in the chat room, even though it's not live, and still be able to comment just like you do on any 
um, social media platform. Um, it's great to see everybody tonight live in the chat room. We got Willie Dove sees Jones King sees in the building. Salute to you. Thanks for tuning in. Dre's Radio Cafe, our sponsors in the building. Bum Rush, the show is in the building. Shout out to all in the chat room and your host, Boss Eddie from the DRC. Appreciate you coming in. Teresa, Lady Miz, Lady Miz. Hey, I'm not sure why is it had me under my other page. Well, you're here, baby, and I'm glad you in the building. Shout out, salute to you. Dope interview earlier today. Prince Legacy, shout out to you all the way from Australia. Appreciate you being in the building. T-O-H-P, Noriega the King is in the building. Miss Yolanda, I appreciate you. Thank you for the love. You know what I'm saying? Let's welcome the chatters to the show, y'all. Don't forget to push that heart button. We need all that love right there. Don't forget to hit that like button. Tune in to the chapter section and all the artists that's been played so far after the replay, which will air tonight at 10 p.m. Central. So 24-7 after that, you can definitely get in tune with this episode and also in the chat room. No, I'm talking about particularly tonight. I do want to talk about success isn't luck. It's based on good habits of who we become. And without further ado, let's get some meat of you in our lives, y'all. Thanks for the ad, Mr. Jones. No, I'm talking about success isn't luck. It's based on the good habits of who we become. We're going to find that at addictedtosuccess.com slash success dash advice slash success dash isn't dash luck dash it's dash based dash on dash the dash good dash habits dash of dash who dash we dash become. I am lucky. I believe in luck, but my success did not come from luck. You see, What we do every day lays the groundwork for our luck in many ways. When we achieve our goals, the actions we take and habits we create inform elevated versions of ourselves. From that place, luck can spring eternal. Before we talk about the practical steps to setting ourselves up for success and luck, let's take a look at what we're searching for in the first place. Oh, what a feeling. Right now, you may be anticipating what you expect to feel when you achieve your goal. Life will be better when you get there. You could already see yourself basking in the sunlight of your personal achievement. I want to give you an insider secret. You don't have to get to the finish line to start feeling the way you expect to feel when you reach the goal. We set goals, yes. Because we have things we want to achieve in our lifetime, but we really set them because we're going after the feeling we expect to have when we achieve those goals. Simply put, our thoughts are what drive our feelings and emotions, and you are in control of your thoughts. Yes, you are in control of your feelings right now at this moment. Your first action step is to get clear on the feelings that your end goal will bring. Then start to bring those feelings into your here and now. For example, Do you think hitting a certain revenue goal will make you feel abundant and less concerned about paying your bills? Do you want to make more income so you can be more generous? How can you start to practice those feelings of generosity and abundance today? What do you need to think to become more generous? When you are abundant, what thoughts are you thinking as you fall asleep at night? When you start thinking the thoughts that make you feel the emotions of your desires, you are really onto something because you've tapped into the energy of flow and that will get you to the goal so much faster. Meet the new you. 92% of people don't reach their goals. Why? Because it's hard work. Part of that hard work is becoming a new person. The person who climbs Mount Everest is not the same person who can currently hike a hill. Years ago, I did a triathlon. I always was last as as in physical education. I wasn't an athlete. To finish a triathlon, I had to become a new version of myself, the version of me who was the triathlete. Since I had never done a triathlon, nor was I anything close to an athlete, I had no past experience to pull from. So I had to sit down and get clear on what the version of me who had completed a triathlon looked like and even more importantly, felt like. Feelings of accomplishment, fitness, strength, and confidence come to mind. 
tapping into what I had to think and do to feel these feelings gave me a roadmap to who I needed to become before I ever crossed the finish line. You become the person who has achieved the goal while you're in the process of getting to your goal. Understanding the feeling you want and visualizing the person you need to become sets a rock solid foundation for the tactical part of reaching your goals. Not having this foundation in place is the difference between goal achievers and goal wishers. Quote, luck is when an opportunity comes along and you're prepared for it, end quote, Denzel Washington. Yes, you need new habits. To become the new version of you, you need to put the new habits into place. Here's why. 95% of our day is run by our subconscious mind. 95%. This means for the most mindful person, only 5% of our day is actually run through our prefrontal cortex, the part of our brain where we do thought work. The other 95%, you guessed it, it comes from your habits. So when you want to create sustainable change in your life, you set yourself up for success by rewiring that change into your habits. Five tricks to help you create new habits. One, get specific or super specific about what you want to do. Habits need clarity and routine. To form a new habit, you need to get detailed on what that habit looks like and how you will execute it. Unclear without a routine? I need to spend time on LinkedIn to help build my business. Clear habit with the routine? On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, right after lunch, I'm going to spend 30 minutes on LinkedIn. Then you should schedule this habit right into your calendar. Two, habits instill when they are cormorant. Everybody talks about brushing your teeth and putting your workout clothes next to your toothbrush. But how many things can you put next to your toothbrush? To spare your toothbrush, think about other habits you can use to connect your new habit. Eating lunch, getting dressed, taking a shower, cleaning the house, cooking dinner. Remember, you already have so many subconscious day-to-day habits. Get creative and think about where you can leverage the habits you already have in place. Three. Habits that require physical movement are much easier to embed. It's so much easier to set a new habit by doing something versus desperately trying not to something. Consider this. Going for a walk is much easier than willing yourself to not snack after dinner. The new habit doesn't have to involve an all-out workout, but think about how you can create new physical cues around something. Maybe after dinner, you boil water for a cup of tea instead of eating cookies. Four, incorporating your senses makes it easier to rewire new habits. I'm a full-blown chocoholic. I seriously did not think that I could go a day without eating it. When I found myself eating too much of it, I knew how to bring in the habit reinforcements. I found a cinnamon tea that I love. Smelling and tasting this tea has replaced my need for chocolate every day. A miracle indeed. Five, lower the barrier of entry for your new habit. Simply put, set yourself up for success. Want to cut down the amount of time you spend on social media? Delete the app from your phone. This will also kick up awareness factor. When you are aware of what you aren't doing, you are using 5% of your brain that can make a thoughtful decision versus relying on the 95% of your brain that makes decisions based on your subconscious. Celebrate your luck. Knowing that you have the ability to create your own success, and yes, luck is life-changing. However, let's not underestimate all of the hard work. Be sure to celebrate your success and luck. And don't miss out on Mentally Strong People Do These Five Things will be our next Boss Lady show for entrepreneurs and 10 Common Leadership Myths and How to Overcome Them, Two Smooth New Ones. So make sure you stay tuned for that, guys. And about Mimi Bishop. She's a business and career strategist and co-founder of The Resting Mind, a company that propels high-achieving generational ex-women by owning their worth, speaking their value, and generating wealth via their professional development. Mimi is a certified life coach and energy leadership index master practitioner who trained at IPEC. She has been featured on Today with Hoda and Jenna, Business Insider, Entrepreneur, and is a VIP expert at Fairy God Boss. You know you need to do things differently, but just can't seem to get out of your rut. 
It's time to finally achieve your goals. Download 